Before we get started with today's video, I definitely want to take some time to thank my friends over at Soul Avant Garde. All right, so Soul Avant Garde is a place where you can go online, type in the website, and you have a plethora of fragrances from the niche world. Now, niches can be intimidating, so sample, 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 and they have those discovery sets as well. Head over there, look around, shop around, and save you some money by using the code DEDRICK20 on anything on Soul Avant Garde. And, um, you know, it's definitely something where, you know, if you're ready to elevate your fragrance collection or get into something new or tap into another level as far as quality goes, hey, Soul Avant Garde has you covered, all right? So head over there, use DEDRICK20, save anything, um, get anything over there except mind games, except mind games. Don't worry, you can head over to mindgames.com and use Dedrick10 for 10% off anything on mindgames.com. All right, so save you some money, explore, see what you discover, and let me know down below in the comments if you rock with anything. All right, appreciate y'all. Let's get started with today's video. YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Dedrick Alex Jr., and I'm back with another fragrance video smell good family hopefully everyone is doing well doing great doing fantastic positive energy positive vibes y'all know how we rock out here on this channel positive vibes only all right we do not tolerate any type of negativity on this channel constructive criticism criticism likes and dislikes of anything that i say about fragrances is is welcome but any type of negative energy no, sir, we don't do that here, all right? All right, man, so today I'm excited. I'm excited because there's a brand new fragrance, Flanker, of a fragrance that I really enjoyed. I actually have a full bottle. I've worn it uh, quite a few times, and um, I, I like the fragrance a lot. Um, and they have now come out with a Flanker, so I have to shout out my good friend, Miss Heather, over at my local dealers for taking care of me yet again. Let me know when the uh, the new drops are in, all right? So we're able to get over there and really see what these fragrances um, are all about, all right? So today we're gonna be talking about a new one from the house of Carolina Herrera. We have the new Bad Boy Cobalt Blue Parfum Elixir. Super long name, okay? I, it could be more to it, all right? But that's what we have today. And here's my two ML sample. Uh, from Dillard's. Um, we're going to spray it on skin for the very first time, uh, give my thoughts, and you know, read the notes, have a little conversation, and see if this is going to put me in the mind frame of possibly adding a full bottle to the collection. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it again from the house of Carolina Herrera. We have Bad Boy Blue Cobalt Parfum <laughs> Elixir. Elixir. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna spray a couple sprays on my left hand because I have nothing going on over there. Let's see what we got going on, all right? So, oh, I think I'm gonna spray it. All right, so two sprays. Well, I can tell you right away in the air, I'm getting a lot more denser and heavier version of the one that I have, the original Cobalt Blue. Smells really, really good. There's big time sweetness in here. I'm already picking up a tr truffle note. There's a, a chocolatey truffle note in the original, and I'm already picking that up in the air. All right, so let's see what we got. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> that, that smells good for sure. So there's a freshness to it, but this is definitely a little bit more heavier, a little bit more denser. Um, right away, the truffle note comes to... Um, to my nose from uh, the original. There's a spiciness to this as well. Yeah, there's a freshness, there's a fresh spiciness to it, a little bit heavier, a little bit denser of the DNA, but that truffle is standing out. So the, the, it kind of gives off like a semi chocolatey vanilla uh, sweetness to my nose, but it still does smell really, really good. This, it, Puts me in the same feeling of the original where I wear the original. Often these days I wear that one to work, I wear it to the office. But I have worn it out and about. But this one is it's kind of reminding me of what uh, Prada Luna Rosa Ocean, the original, and then the switch up with a more heavier take on the DNA with the EDP. This is, this is kind of doing the same thing for my nose right now. But to start off, I do like it. 
It's starting to settle down a bit. Yeah, it's very, very easy going. It's not gonna be something that's gonna offend anybody. Mass appealing for sure, but there are some different nuances in there with the truffle that kind of stands out, but that's starting to smooth over for sure. And the things that are remaining is a sweetness, a freshness, and a light, fresh spiciness to this fragrance. And again, like I said, much more heavier and denser um, approach um, than the original, which like I said before, I have a full bottle of and I do enjoy it. I've worn it quite a bit. And Carolina Herrera has tons of fragrances. They have flankers and they have a lot of different things um, to offer. Um, but the Cobalt Blue was something that took me by surprise. So I was very excited to hear that a flanker was coming out, a Parfum Elixir. And um, from what I'm smelling so far, we got some pretty good stuff here. So let's go ahead and get to the notes of this fragrance. This is a 2024 release. And now according to our friends at Parfumo.com, they simply has Carolina Herrera, Bad Boy Cobalt Elixir. So they don't have the Parfum in there for them. But let's go ahead and get to the main accords. Sweet, woody, spicy, fresh, and resinous, okay? Top notes, black pepper and sage. In the heart, there's that black truffle that I picked up right away with the familiar vibes from the original. You have woods, and in the base, you have frankincense, and you have vanilla, all right? So right around the arena of what my nose was able to gather. Um, but yeah, nothing really flashy or, um, you know, outrageously different than, you know, you know, what you've probably smelled before. But I will say this. Everybody is on different walks um, in their fragrance journey. And a fragrance like this could propel you from your everyday shower gel, simply fresh and clean type fragrances, and put you in a different uh, dimension with fragrances that have notes of truffle in it. And that's a unique note that's not used in everyday designer style fragrances. And that could catapult you into other levels of higher designer and niche quality for sure. Um, but what I will say about this one is, I wouldn't say that this is um it wouldn't be like a top everyday wear recommendation but you could wear it every day all right you could wear it every day but the sweetness from the truffle and the vanilla really starting to take precedence now there's a slight woodsiness that's starting to appear as this dries down but all in all i do like this fragrance all right i do think this is a a, a mass appealing vibe i do think it's a more um i, I wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily say safe but it'd be an easy wear, all right? That's just my opinion on the matter. It'd be an e easy wear for sure. So wearing it to the office, that's definitely a possibility. Wearing it on a date is a possibility. Going to have a good time is a possibility. I think there's a few things you can do with this. Now compared to the original, like I said, the original is a little bit more brighter, a little bit more fresher. So more, maybe in even warmer weather, that could be something that's a go. I'm not sure I'd wear this in the hottest of weather. Uh, maybe that truffle and that vanilla could probably come off a little bit cloying, but maybe a summer night, spring day for sure, fall day, winter day for sure. This would be something that could definitely work. So again, I do like what they have to offer here. Is it moving me to want to put a full bottle in my collection? Right now, I'm going to say the answer is no. And the reason why the answer is no is because it's not much more different than the experience that I've gotten with the original uh, Cobalt, Bad, the Cobalt Bad Boy Blue. Not that different from the original. Now, I am going to wear this sample. I'm going to give it a full wearing just to see what it does out in the air moving you know in and out and then you know i'll come up um you know with the decision around that time but currently right now as i'm recording this video i don't see myself getting a full bottle not because it's not good because it is but i'm not about redundancy in my collection right now i don't want two of the same things that's why i have you know one of the reasons why i have prada luna rosa oceans the original and then i have the edp because they offer two different things with the original DNA still intact, all right? So the differences were that different for me to uh, want to add uh, that EDP. But with this particular uh, situation here with the bad boy Cobalt Blue, I get a lot of the more similar, similar things for sure. So um, it's really, really good. I definitely think that a lot of you will get your nose on it and could appreciate it. And uh, but, but, but besides that, get out and sample it and test it. I wouldn't recommend blind buying anything, but with the access of what you can get with this, um, it could definitely be, um, it could definitely be something that 
um, a lot of you would like to put into your collection. So let me know if you guys have some of the new Bad Boy Blue Elixir from Caroline Herrera. Uh, I'd be interested to see what you guys think about it. If you love it, if you like it, if it's just like everything else, or if it's different enough, let me know. So again, shout out to my friend, Miss Heather, over at my local dealers for making sure I was able to get me a sample of that so I can discuss it with you guys. And uh, who knows, you know, my mind might change a little bit once I get a full wearing, but I will keep you guys up to date. All right, all right, Smuggle fam, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, able to grab something from it, take something from it, and uh, go out into the world and see if you like that new Cobalt Blue. All right, so until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. Positive energy and positive vibes as always. Of course, splack it up, splack it down, splack that thing all around. And remember, what you put onto this world is exactly what you are going to get back for sure. All right, appreciate y'all. Splack.